Hi, my name is Linda Gould and I am the founder and managing editor of White and So, which is a brand new online journal that highlights creative work of all kinds that has been inspired by Japan. We just started it in January of 2021 and already I've received so many amazing submissions. I'm so happy about that. But I also received a lot of questions. And one of the questions that um, came to me by about three different people in various forms was, I'm an unpublished author. Um, do you take my, do, do you consider my work? Which is, I think, a really, really important question. Um, and mainly because it says on the submission guidelines page that I do. It says, you know, we welcome people of all backgrounds, all kinds of work, and you know, whether you've, you're published or not, we'll consider your work. So I suspect that the question is a little bit different, the intent of the question. And that is, I presume, I'm an unpublished author. Do I have a chance at all of getting into the journal if I'm you know, up against people who have won awards and who have been published extensively? And the short answer to that is yes, absolutely. But it gives me a chance to talk a little bit about the process that I use to review all the submissions that come in. And so what happens is if you, if you submit, you'll see that I ask for your name, but mostly I focus on the submission itself, you know, a short summary and the submission. So I don't ask for a bio. I don't want to be influenced by anybody's um, background. So I, I take the submission and I copy it and then paste it into a separate document. And I, I aggregate you know, all the fiction in one document, all the essays in one document, all the poetry in a different document. And then after about a week when I have multiple submissions to consider, I'll look at all of them and then from that selection, I'll choose um, what to do with them. So, you know, some of them might be automatically so impressive that I just want, I want it <laughs> and I'll write immediately to the, to the author. Some of them might be obviously not quite ready for White Enso yet. And so I'll write to them and say, you know, please, we're not quite ready, but, you know, submit again. And, you know, maybe with a little bit of editing or a little bit more work, it will be suitable. And then there are others that, you know, maybe I'll wait and compare when we get more submissions for uh, subsequent weeks. Um, so you'll see that if your work is good, <laughs> then it won't matter who you're up against. Having said that, I have noticed that, you know, there are, if you if somebody has been published a lot, then their work has probably already gone through several phases of editing and, you know, they have more experience. It's like anything, you get experience and you get better at it. So there is oftentimes the chance that if you're an unpublished author, your work will be notably different than somebody whose work has been published. Having said that, that doesn't always mean you can't be published either. And so I'm going to talk about that in a subsequent video um, because I think it's really important that I, the whole purpose to this journal is to support artists of all kinds. And I'm not here to, you know, reject somebody and then just let it go and make them feel bad. Because as someone who's been rejected many times, I know how that feels. So my whole point is, you know, I, I want to accept everybody. I want everything to be in. But it also has to be a journal that, you know, it has some quality to it. So there are standards that it has to meet. Um, and like I said, in a subsequent video, I'll talk about that. But I do want you, if you are considering submitting, I want you to be assured that whatever your background, whatever your history, definitely your work, if you submit it, will be considered for what it is, not necessarily how it, you know, what your background is. So we're coming into the next submission period for White and So, and I hope that you'll consider submitting.
And I hope that, well, I look forward to reading it. Thank you.